Okay, so um, this is part two. I'm gonna be mounting it on the side of this right here. I had to borrow a ladder. Fit on my car pretty good, so that's nice. I have a few more parts in that shed over there, but um, so the antenna is gonna be about 37 feet up that way. It's gonna connect over to the corner of the house over here, and it's gonna come down and go through. I've gotta make a spot for that window. Um, very basic ground rods, hoping for now I can just pound it into the uh, frozen tundra. Just to at least to have some sort of ground rod. Uh, measured everything so it's away from the power lines of the cars. So, um, got my little workstation. I'm actually using my air compressor because the lag bolts are going to be going through here. I'm going to be hitting that stud right there, but also coming off from this way so and it's windy and kind of cold today this actually used to be a telescope observatory so this is going to be part two and like i mentioned before this is my mast right here it's going to be attached to this um i have two u-bolts but i actually want a third one and the third one is where the the ground is going to tie in i figured it'd be better off having three so the next one will be down, you know, evenly spaced. Really good support. Living in New Hampshire, up on some big hills, uh, we get a lot of wind and stuff, so. Should blend right into those trees. Nobody even see it. All right, I got all three in there. Lock washers on the back of those right there. All right, so this is my spacer to get it off the, cause this was an observatory. So this roof rolls back and forth, <clears throat> but no longer it does anymore. So this is the spacer to, to bring it up off that. And I have to cut just a little bit right there. So I'm using old um, jumper wire cable here. Um, that's attached down there. Um, unfortunately, I have a bigger rod, but this is like um, stuff for concrete work. I know it's not perfect, it's only two feet, but if I, I have a bigger rod too that I can pound on the ground, but you hear that, it's frozen. I got a sledgehammer, so we'll see how that works out. But um, I'm just setting up the grounding part now before I raise it so I don't have to mess with it when I'm up in the air. So what I'm doing here is um, I'm making a pivot mount. So once I attach the mast and the antenna, I can bring it up and I have this for a stop right here. So when it comes up, it rests up against this and I have some smaller ones right here. Those are kind of minor, but this, this and this is what I'm gonna be using to bolt the, the 12 foot with the mast on that end and then the antenna. Hoping for 37 feet. So this is a temporary ground, but I got it in 20 inches pounded it it's better than nothing i plan on having a much better ground but just to get set up for now it'll work right now Letter. right here it's already this eye hook man it's rugged and uh goes to that shed so over there is where the antenna is going to go up and then i have the You'll see in a second, and it's gonna come across here. And that's where the um, the cable from the antenna is gonna run to this support of the house. And I'm gonna go, not that window, but the, the next window over, come across. But I wanna set up the guide wires and everything, guide wires before um, I lift it. I wanna have everything connected. And uh, yeah. So that's how I'm gonna attach it to the house. That's good that that's already strong. That means I don't have to put one up. I want to come up here and test it and I like it.
All right, there it is. So this is 100 feet. UHF, high quality stuff. I'm gonna use dielectric grease in my connection outside. This is gonna be the guy wire that's gonna hold actually this mount over here. Kinda got it set up. So I have this right here. I gotta figure out where I wanna put it, but I'm using the braided stuff for the, the blue braided cable for um, connection points for safety. And then I have some 100 foot of green wire. That's what I'm gonna attach from over here to right there. So that's the next spot. So um, what I'm doing now is I have the original hardware to this old school antenna. So I'm hooking that up right now. Um, I did buy this. I have a bunch of brushes, but really stiff bristle. And I use that with cleaner to clean before I put the um, dielectric grease in. Make sure that's a really good connection. And um, I'm gonna finish attaching the antenna to the mast. Then after that, I'm gonna figure out where I want my guide wire. I'm gonna lift it, kind of keep that taut a little bit so it doesn't slide and figure out. Cause I know where I wanna put the guide wires. So I just wanna see like where a good position, to put that guy in next. Yeah, I feel good about this. Not too tight, but. So that's the, um, the antenna that's attached to the mast now. So next, I'm um, gonna, I have this stuff right here. Some dielectric silicone compound. Insulate connections, so I'm gonna use that now. Screw in cable, and well yeah, you'll see. I, I chose to use the guide wire clamp here, as close to the antenna as possible for some um, research and it seemed like it was it was like the best idea so fairly close maybe like 10 inches so next um more wires now i have that clean so i'm just going to squirt some of this dielectric grease i'm going to use um these swabbers there we go it's not exactly the stuff i've used in the past but So yeah, I'm just gonna th get that stuff in those threads. Sorry, I was probably blocking it. This is a good thing about keeping junk around. It's just an old, you know, thing that broke the top. But so I have the cable up here, so I don't have it in the snow. And I'm gonna just rub a little that dielectric right in here. The new cable. And I'm gonna plug that in. So if you see where um, the antenna is going to come up this way, that is well-built kids' playhouse. And I'm attaching one of the guide wires right here. So I already pre-drilled it. This is a fairly rugged hook, and it's going right into one of the... Right here, you'll see. It's going into that 2 by 4 So um, that'll be rugged. Yep. All right, so it probably looks like a mess, but what I have, that's the um, guide wire cable right there. So I have it ran all the way across over here. See where it's falling it. I have it attached to the guide wire clamp with two different type of clamps, a smush clamp and that clamp. I have the coax cable in, which I'm going to zip tie once I figure out how far it drops. I have the cable up on the roof right now, so when I lift this up, you see this blue wire? So this blue wire is going to be one of the guide wires that are going to run that way. Then I have one that's going to a base of a tree in there. So what I did was, I have this ran over here to this, which I showed earlier. 
So that way I can get the length of what I need with this once the antenna's up. Then I know where to cut it to use the rest of this blue wire for the guide wire that's going into the woods over there. And that's, yeah, that's the only way I can figure out. So I'm going to lift this up. I have my compressor ready to go. Um, so once this gets lifted up, it's going to hit this stop. I'm going to drill in a screw in there so then I can adjust how long the guide wires need to be up on the house and up on the corner here. And then I can snip it, drop it, and then figure out the guide wire that's going to go to one of the trunks of these trees down here. My dad made a good point. Don't put it up too high because uh, trees shake. So if I can um, use a very similar eye hook that's really beefy into a, a base of a tree. And then I'm going to call it a day. Um, I'll be able to lift this up. And um, no connections inside, but... And I still don't have the, um, this part attached yet. The part that screws in up there. So one thing I noticed, um, my guide wire clamp, I'm actually going to drop down quite a bit. Noticing where the corner of the house is. I'm going to, there's a little notch right there. That's where I want to put it. So I'm going to drop that down. Which sucks, because that means I got to drop it back down and then remeasure, but just, that's it. Look at that, the sun's coming out. So um, I got the length that I want here. So that's the first guide wire. The next one I'm, is the one that I'm going over to the house. So I'd have this cut, that airplane way up there. I have this one cut, that's good for length. So next is do the length that goes to the house. So the one that goes to the house is also going to support the um, UHF wire. All right, so there we go. Yeah, so um, I'm going to add a little grease, dielectric, silicone compound, to the uh, antenna connection I already cleaned inside there. And it's going to be the last time I lift it up. I have all the guide wires um, measured and ready to be clamped in so um here we go and stay tuned i'm just passing through the uh cable up through here it's going over there so i zip tied all the way down with the guide wire and the antenna cable so when I lift it, I can tighten it all up there. Turnbuckle, a couple clamps. So honestly, um, if that's done, I just have to snip the zip ties and I'm lifting this thing.
So this is the end of part two. I'm done. I got that guide wire right here. And then one down to the bottom of a tree trunk down over here. And now into the house, which has the um, coax cable. <laughs>